Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to a weekend vlog in isolation. So it doesn't even feel like morning. It looks so dark behind me, but honestly, the weather is so grim in London and I guess it doesn't hurt to stay inside when obviously it's such poopy weather outside. But if you guys have not seen my previous vlogs or you do not know what's going on in London and England right now, we are in lockdown 2.0, which means that you're only supposed to leave your house if you need essential things like going to the pharmacy for medication, food shopping, that kind of stuff. So my essential thing that I am doing this weekend that I'm gonna take you guys along with, um, or at least today, the plan is to do a little bit of meal prep and go to the grocery store and buy what I need for my weekly shop. So I normally shop on Friday evenings, but honestly, last night I was knackered. I was just so tired and it was a long week at work and at work, I mean, sitting at my desk right there and working from home. But yeah, it was just a lot of work this week and I was just so tired last night and I just didn't have the energy to go last night. And so I'm going to tackle the grocery store today, take you guys along, show you guys what grocery shopping looks like in lockdown. I really hope that um, not too many things are sold out. I know obviously last lockdown, like people went crazy over toilet paper and pasta and all these stupid things that people stock up on. I wonder what the heck everyone's doing with the 70,000 rolls of toilet paper that people bought before. But I am meal prepping and I meal prep for a whole week in advance. I'm just that kind of person. I prefer it that way. I prefer knowing what I'm going to eat every day. Um, I usually actually only eat lunch and dinner. Um, I kind of intermittent fast, not really. I guess some days I do, some days I don't. But for the most part, the two major meals that I eat every day is lunch and dinner. And so I'm gonna show you guys how I actually meal prep and what I'm going through when it comes to the process of deciding what I use. I use a tool called Notion, which is like kind of like a database, but also it's like a note-taking app. It's kind of like all in one. Um, I absolutely love it. I plan my life in Notion, including planning my YouTube videos and stuff. But I'll show you guys what I get up to when it comes to meal prepping. In the meal meantime, I am actually enjoying this banana bread here and it's, so cute, it was made for me, and I'm having some iced coffee as well. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to just eat a little bit, meal plan a little bit, and then I will show you guys how I meal plan, and then we'll go to the grocery I am going to show you exactly how I meal plan for the entire week. I think I said meal prep earlier, but what I mean is meal planning. And by meal planning, I am going to be deciding everything that I'm gonna be eating for lunch and dinner and then making a grocery list from that list. So the first thing that I do is I open up my Notion and I look at the next week meal ideas. I usually do this throughout the week, to be honest, if I ever have like a craving or I'm ever kind of keen on trying something new or a new recipe, I'll basically add it into this page. And as you can see, it's broken down by Saturday lunch, Saturday dinner, Sunday lunch, Sunday dinner, and so on and so forth, all the way from Saturday until next Friday. And that's how I basically break everything down. As I said, I only eat two meals a day, two main meals. I sometimes will have a snack or a small thing on the side, but that's an aside. So as you can see here, I've totally picked out my entire meal plan for the whole week. So I have Saturday lunch, which is gonna be a bagel, cream cheese, salmon, I'm just craving that, and then burger fries. Then I'm gonna do a roast and then there's leftovers. You can see one day on Monday, I also have decided to do a takeaway. Sometimes I do add in takeaways to my meal plan, but I am totally ready for the week and I know exactly what I want to eat for the week. So once I've made that list, I then go down and I have a grocery list at the bottom of this page. And on this page, I have broken down the grocery list by aisles in the supermarket. So I know that this seems a little bit like super organized, but trust me, when you are going through the aisles in the supermarket, especially now more than ever, you're gonna wanna make sure everything is organized by the section that you go through. So when you walk into my grocery store, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, the first section that you come across is your fresh produce section. And as you can see, I've added kiwis and potatoes and onions, garlic, stir fried veg. And then um, the next section I go into is the meat section and I've already added a few bits of meat. And then the deli section here, which is um, you know the cheeses, the yogurts, the butters, that kind of thing. And then you can see here, there's the canned and, and dried goods section, then bread snacks and treats, and then finally there is the freezer section, drinks and alcohol, and then anything household that I need as well. So it's pretty broken down and it's a tick list, so as I go shopping, what's great about Notion is that obviously I'm doing this on my desktop because it's a lot easier to type everything out, but you can totally download the mobile app and then you are able to tick things off as you're in the grocery store buying things. 
So let's go back up to the entire weeks of meal ideas. And then I look at what I'm interested in eating. So the bagel, cream cheese, and salmon. And then I look in my fridge or I look in my pantry and I'm like, do I have bagels? Do I have cream cheese? Do I have salmon? I actually don't have any of that in my house right now. So you can see down at the bottom, I've added bagels. I've also added cream cheese and I've also added salmon locks. So those are things that I do need to pick up for that meal. The next thing is burger and fries. So I already have frozen French fries in my um, freezer. So the only thing I actually need to pick up for the burger is the burger patties and also the burger buns, which is down here. But thinking about it, I also want to have um, some tomatoes and some lettuce and um, probably some onions and what else do I normally put on my burgers? Um, cheese and jalapeno. So I have added the sliced cheese already to the list. I also have already added the onions and um, yeah, I'm gonna just probably add in uh, lettuce here just because I like to have a staple of lettuce in the um, fridge. But what else are we eating this week? Okay, so then there's the roast, which I'm gonna be cooking on Sunday and then Yorkshire pudding, carrots, roast potatoes and sprouts. So I have most of this already in the house. The only two things I need to buy is the roast meat and then the Yorkshire puddings. So for the meat, actually, it's gonna be roast beef that I need to buy. I'm just gonna add that into the list. And then I've already added Yorkshire puddings to the freezer list. Then moving on to egg and avocado wrap. I already have the eggs, I already have the avocados, but I do need some more wraps. So I've added wraps to the breads down here. Um, what else? Takeaway on Monday night, don't need to buy anything for that. Chicken salad, I do have um, some lettuce and tomatoes. Oh, I need some cucumber for the salad. So let me add cucumber to the list. And then I also need some chicken. So I'm gonna get some chicken strips for that salad. Uh, but yeah, so you guys can kind of see the entire process that I go through. I usually spend about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes every week, just going through, deciding what I want to order. And then I also go through all my pantry and my fridge and I pick out anything that's missing or anything that I don't have based on my meal ideas. And then I basically go buy them from the grocery store. So that's kind of how I stay organized. And because I am so busy during the week, it really just keeps me on track of everything that I plan on eating. Yeah, anyways, that is kind of how I meal plan. Now, let's go ahead and shoot off to the grocery store so I can show you exactly how to pick up all these items. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh man, there's definitely a reason I come to the grocery store on a Friday evening and not a Saturday because it is so busy today, really. Saturday midday, not the one to come to the grocery store. So many people here, but you know, making do, picking up my weekly essentials. So, these are something that you could probably only get in England, which are called pot noodles. and. Basically, it's instant noodles. Like, we have instant noodles in America, but these are pot noodles. That's what I think their equivalent is, and I thought it would be fun for me to try out one of these this week and uh, see if they're actually as good as our instant ramen noodles, because that's what I'm used to. But they're obsessed with these here. I totally know that people love this, so I'm gonna try out a few different flavors this week as well. I think I'm gonna add it to the grocery list. Okay, I want cola bottle. Ooh, I want strawberries. Ooh, fizzy bubble gum bottle. Basically, I only like fizzy sweets or like sour sweets. What else? Not regular sort of blue raspberry Ooh, watermelon slices. It's a strawberry rocket. There's such a weird sweet here. I'll get some more of the fizzy cola bottle. Gotta fill it up to the top. Gotta get my money's worth. Pick and mix. I have to say, this is like my favorite thing about the UK. Like you get to pick all your candies. You don't have to buy them separate. Why don't we get that in the UK? You only get them in the movie theaters. Yeah. Yay, pick and mix. Gotta fill it up to make your money's worth. Oh my gosh, they actually have turkeys. Look at this, this is a whole turkey. And Thanksgiving's coming up. Oh my gosh, serve 18 to 21 people. Who the heck am I gonna feed? This is a massive turkey. So guys, made it home from the grocery store. This is most of everything that I bought. 
And yeah, as you guys saw, I'm probably gonna be making burgers, which I'll be making with these uh, British steak caramelized onions burger, and then some cheese, and then I'm gonna have some bagels and cream cheese because I'm craving it. I bought some mixed veg so that I can make a stir fry lettuce for salads during the week, tomatoes and cucumber for salads during the week, eggs just to top up on eggs, some bread as well. I really do like this sourdough bloomer from Sainsbury's own brand. Actually, I have to say most of Sainsbury's own brand is really good. Um, bought some bean burgers, also got salmon fillets as well, and then beef for the roast I'm going to be making. But yeah, this is basically most of the food for this week. So made it home from the weekly shop. Zizi's here. Zizi's mainly here because she can smell my food. But as per meal plan, I am going to have a bagel with cream cheese and um, some salmon and some red onion on it for my lunch for Saturday that you guys would have seen earlier. Anyways, the grocery store was a little bit busy, but I got everything that I needed, which is nice because obviously people aren't panic buying anymore and the grocery store is fully stocked. So I feel really good about that. Anyways, I am just sat down about to watch some Netflix and chill out because it is a pouring rainy day in London and I want to do nothing but sit on the couch today and continue eating. So that is what I will do, but I'll probably show you everything else that I kind of eat throughout the day. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye, Cece. Hey guys, this few hours later, sorry, I got so caught up in all the Netflix and chill that I was doing. It was such a rainy day and I honestly just spent most of it on the couch. Um, had a delicious burger for dinner, which was amazing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of sign off for Saturday. I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. As you can tell, poor little ZZ is so upset and anxious. And this is the same problem that happened last weekend or in a previous vlog that I talked to you guys about fireworks and dogs being so so anxious around fireworks there are a lot of people putting up fireworks around my flat right now um it is Diw diwali today which is awesome a beautiful festival of lights i love all the culture and all the celebration that's happening today but i have to say it just sucks that for like people putting out fireworks especially so close to my flat you can tell that poor zizi is just not happy right now and there's nothing I can do about it and I feel so bad. Anyways, I had an amazing Saturday. I guess taking you guys out on these lockdown vlogs means going to the grocery store with me. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Anyways, uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow. So I will see you on Sunday and ZZ hopefully will be a little less stressed and anxious. I really hope the fireworks stop soon. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to another day of this lockdown weekend vlog. So I am just having my morning coffee. I'm out on the balcony because I was just checking the weather. It's absolutely poop outside, but I thought it would be fun for me to kind of adventure out, just take you guys along for a little bit of a walk. Go check out uh, Whole Foods and also get a hot chocolate because it is a be rainy day today but yeah that's the plan for today i am going to finish this coffee head out walk over probably play a podcast on the walk because i like to listen to podcasts while i walk and i'll take you guys along for the sunday journey oh i'm also going to be making a sunday roast as well which is really exciting um i know if you guys catch my last vlog and if you haven't watched that already i'll make sure to link it up in the cards for you guys right now but my last vlog i did do a roast chicken and now this weekend because of the poop weather that you guys see i am going to do a roast beef i feel like i'm becoming so british with all this sunday roast anyways let's get on to my sunday it's kind of a lazy one it's not really lazy but it's kind of just a chilled one i should say um yeah and let's go venture out and see london by foot because we're supposed to be in lockdown and not using transportation unless we have to so i'm going to venture out and take you guys along with me so guys just having a bagel and cream cheese for a little bit of a late breakfast before I go out for my walk to Whole Foods. Honestly, I love bagels. I was just ch saying in my head like, oh my gosh, I would love to work in New York and then every morning I'd probably get myself a bagel and hopefully someday when we're allowed to travel again, whenever that is, who knows, I can travel to New York and have a bagel every morning on the way to work that's like super... I don't know if it's Gossip Girl of me, I don't know, or Sex in the City. It's just like, I feel like that's the New York lifestyle. Like you should have a bagel every morning. Well, at least that's what I think. I love bagels and cream cheese. So yeah, 
Just having my bagel and cream cheese before heading out. Just starting to walk towards Whole Foods. It is nice and sunny outside. I can't believe it. It was pouring down rain as you guys saw earlier today. And now it's sunny out, woo! It's actually really windy if you guys can't hear it already as well, but it's a perfect autumn day and I'm excited to walk to Whole Foods and take you guys along with me. It'll be interesting to get this walk in. It's about an hour's walk from my flat to Whole Foods and then an hour back, but obviously I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, go shopping, maybe grab something to eat as well and then come back home. So guys, I'm almost to Kensington High Street and I'm in Kensington, which is by far the prettiest part of West London. I'd have to say like Kensington and Chelsea are the epitome of the White House London that everyone kind of idealizes and looks for. And I remember when I was first moving to London, this is exactly the type of house I wanted to live in because it's like super white, super beautiful, just super idyllic, I guess. And even after five years of living in London, I honestly just appreciate all the little things I get to discover while walking around in London. So you can see behind me, those are all the white houses that I'm talking about. They're so beautiful. They're really, really West London. Like you wouldn't find these kind of houses in East London or South. It's a very West London look and yeah, almost Kensington High Street, about an hour of walking and uh, such a beautiful autumn day. Yeah, nearly there. I'll show you guys what I get when I get into Whole Foods. Made it to Whole Foods. Of course, there's a queue out the door, and I'm just waiting to go in. And you have to wait outside the store to go in. Oh my gosh! Look at the size of these pomegranates. This is the size of produce in California. This is amazing. This is so massive. Look at the size of these. Being inside of a Whole Foods always makes me feel like I'm back in America, I have to say. Like, Whole Foods always makes me feel like I'm back home. I mean, obviously it's an American supermarket chain, but yeah, I really just love that uh, they have like everything for Thanksgiving already out as well, which is really nice because, yeah, they have everything you can do to make a turkey and pumpkin pie and all this stuff. And yeah, just so nice. I don't know, it's a nice homey feeling when you come shopping here as an American in London. So guys, just finished shopping at Whole Foods and now I'm going to Knopf's, which is right opposite Whole Foods and I thought I would check out their hot chocolate and um, yeah, there's a queue as always to wait to go get their hot chocolate. So I'm excited to try it out. Um, it's a German chocolate uh, coffee and hot chocolate place and bakery I think as well so I've heard so much about it and I'm really keen to try it out now I've got to go stand in that queue and wait to get in oh. uh, so I mean are you more of a milk chocolate fan or a dark chocolate fan I like white chocolate white chocolate, <laughs> so white chocolate. So, um, there are two white chocolates to choose from. We've got a 28% and a 45%. 28% is just like kind of a bog standard white chocolate. Um, 45% I would recommend. It's from Madagascar. It has floral notes and a bit of banana in it. So um, it's very sophisticated. Okay. Um, so yeah, that works really well as a hot chocolate. Um, Do you do it cold as well at all? Yeah, so the 28% can also be made as a milkshake or a cold milk. Okay. Um, but just the 28% works really well. I think the milkshakes are so good. Okay. Um, so yeah, no. There's, okay. I think if you want to go for a hot chocolate, go for a 45 cent. If you want to go for a milkshake, um, it, go on milkshake from the six flavors there. Okay. So the 28 cent um, like chocolate is calling your name. Okay, okay, cool. Whoa. So guys, I just came out of Knops. I have just been told that that's how you say it. So it's right behind me. And I got the 28% vanilla milkshake well white chocolate milkshake with vanilla i should say oh my gosh i just tried this this is amazing i just paid five pounds for this milkshake honestly whoa oh worth it though wow 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 i cannot believe it i just walked an hour for this milkshake uh i'm basically gonna drink all the calories i just walked off and I'm gonna walk home with this milkshake now and enjoy it thoroughly wow honestly I wish that this was closer to me but at the same time I wish they weren't because if they were closer I'd probably be spending way too much money here honestly this is so good I know the hype is real on Instagram but 
the hype is real. If you are in, I think they have two locations in Kensington or in Clapham Junction, you should check them out. They actually are famous for hot chocolate, but I wanted um, a cold drink, so I got a milkshake instead. But yeah, wow, this is amazing. Anyway, it's time to walk home. Walking back through Kensington, back home, all the pretty white houses behind me, still in awe and still very much enjoying this milkshake. So at first I thought that it was way too watery for a milkshake because I'm expecting something thicker for a milkshake. But what I can say about this is it's like a whiskey or any kind of drink that you have to nurse. You have to nurse this drink when you're drinking it because it is so chocolatey. If you just take a little sip, let it in your mouth and enjoy it. You don't just drink it all down at once because it is a very chocolatey drink. But yeah, I'm just in Kensington. Look at all the pretty white houses behind me. Oh, this part of London makes me smile. This really, really makes me so happy to be living in London, really. And today, days like this where it's like spontaneous and I get to just go out and explore and enjoy London life, even while in lockdown. I'm very appreciative and I'm very grateful for the life I live. So yeah, make sure you practice a bit of gratitude today because it's a beautiful day to be alive. But anyways, let's walk home. So guys, this pub right here, I've had a great roast at it and it is such a cute pub because you can see right there that it's like all decorated with Christmas trees and lights on the outside, but it's not lit up right now, obviously, because it's closed. But if I were to recommend a very, very typical British pub that you can probably get in Notting Hill, the Churchill Arms right here on the corner of Camden Street is a such a recommendation. I've had a few pints here. They have great roast. Such a typical, kind of cliche, British pub. Oh my God, you guys, you know how I was talking how it was such beautiful, sunny weather. Well. Welcome to London! It is now coming down with rain and super windy and I'm just trying to get home and I'm drenched. Oh, I'm gonna be a wet dog when I get home but like look at my vest is completely wet already. It said the weather said it wasn't gonna rain but I always oh, such a rookie mistake that I feel like it's not gonna rain in London but not only is it raining it's super windy. Oh my gosh I almost got blown away. Nearly home though. Let's see how wet I get in this process. So guys, I made it home. Not super wet, but pretty wet, I have to admit. It came down pretty hard and I got pretty wet and I'm just home and drying off. I'm really happy that I spent my Sunday afternoon exploring Kensington and Chelsea and a little bit of Notting Hill and just mainly going to Whole Foods and also having that delicious chocolate drink. The reason I went to Whole Foods is actually because there is one thing that I can only get at Whole Foods is um, an acai blend that I really like. So I like to make acai bowls at home and I can only pick up the acai berry blend that I actually like from that Whole Foods. So that's why I walked over there. And yeah, it was like nine kilometers of walking today all in total, which is amazing. I honestly feel great that I did all that walking. I'll actually link it on the screen right now so you guys can see exactly how much I walked. I'm really, really impressed with myself. Anyways, I'm also very hungry because I've only had little nibbles. I had the bagel and then I had the chocolate shake, but that's all I've had today. And I'm really excited because I'm going to be making a roast again. As I mentioned before, I will be doing my um, version of a Sunday roast, but this time instead of chicken, last week I did chicken, this week I'm going to be doing roast beef. Super exciting. Anyways, I'm back home, gonna dry off, gonna get a little bit warmer and make my roast and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I have just sat down for Sunday roast again. I'm absolutely loving these Sunday roasts that I'm cooking up. So this week, like I said, I made roast beef instead of chicken. And then you can see some roast veg on the plate as well. And then three Yorkshire puddings cause I'm feeling a little bit greedy and some roasted potatoes. The perfect little roast dinner for lockdown. Honestly, these roast dinners are so, so good and just so warming and so yum when it's cold outside and it's a cold rainy Sunday and I'm enjoying my roast dinner. I'm gonna cover this plate in gravy because that is what you have to do when you have a roast. You have to cover it and slather it in gravy. I have learned that from every British person that I've ever met. They says never enough gravy to cover your roast. But yeah, I'm going to tuck in and eat this. There's nothing more that I'm really gonna get up today to today. I think I'm actually gonna maybe start The Crown on Netflix. So if you guys don't already know, 
The Crown is back. I think it's season four now. And um, this season, they're going to bring back Princess Diana and um, do that whole scene of what happens with Princess Di and everything. I think that's all in season four, so I'm really looking forward to that. I also have to catch up on Grey's Anatomy, so lots of TV to catch up with tonight. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just show you guys my dinner before I kind of wind down for this Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed my adventure of a weekend of lockdown. I think I've been trying to make my weekends as exciting as possible when you're locked down. And I guess the lesson from this week is really that um, you don't have to really do much to have an adventure. I just went on a walk today and I walked all the way to Kensington High Street and went to Whole Foods and obviously I went grocery shopping yesterday and food prepped and meal prepped and all that kind of stuff. And I just think that all of that is pretty exciting for a weekend well done or well spent in London. Anyways, that's basically my weekend done. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did and you guys are enjoying my weekend vlogs, please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to create more content like this for you guys. And if you have made it to this point of the video, I love and appreciate that you have seen my whole weekend. And if you want to see more content like this, please do make sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload two times a week on Sundays and Wednesdays. And P.S. I'm going to be doing Vlogmas. So please make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you know exactly when my next video is going live and get ready for vlogmas guys i'm so excited i'm going to be vlogging every single day up to christmas anyways i'm starving i'm going to go ahead and start eating i hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and i hope to catch you guys in my next video bye